Thank you. Hare Krishna. So today we are very, very fortunate that we have amongst us His Grace Patanjali Muni Prabhuji. Prabhuji is basically from South Korea. Prabhuji got introduced to ISKCON in the year 1997. And since then Prabhuji has served uh, at ISKCON Bhaktivedant Manor UK for over 20 years. But Prabhuji has also been serving the South Korea Yatra on and off. And currently, Prabhuji serves as a temple president of Seoul as well as the regional secretary for South Korea Yatra. So we are very, very fortunate and blessed to have Prabhuji with us. And we like to welcome Prabhuji by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. His grace, Patanjali Muni Prabhuji ki. Jagat Guru Shila Prabhupada ki. Jai. Jai Radha Madhava. Jai Kunja Vihari. Jaya Radha Madhava Jaya Kun Jabi Hari Jaya Gopi Jana Bhallava Kiribara Thari Jaya Gopi Jana Bhallava Kiribara Thari Jaya Yasoda Nandana Braja Jana Ranjana Yasoda Nandana Braja Jana Ranjana Yamuna Tiravana Yamuna Tira Vanachari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Vihari Jaya Gopi Jana Vallava Kiribaradhari Jaya Yasoda Nandana Braja Jana Ranjana Yasoda Nandana Braja Jana Ranjana Yamuna Tira Vanachari Yamuna Tira Vanachari Jaya Radha Madhava Jaya Kun Jari Hari Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 
हरि राम हरि राम 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 हरि हरि हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय लुक्मी द्वाक दिशे लुक्मी द्वाक दिशे लुक्मी द्वाक दिशे जय जगन्नाथ जय जगन्नाथ जय बल्लदे जय सुभादरा जय गोरानिताय 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 जय गोरानिताय जय प्रभु पदा प्रभु पदा प्रभु पदा शिल प्रभु पदा निताय गोरा हरि बो हरि बो हरि बो निताय गोरा हरि बो जाऊं विश्वाद परमाम सपरुगचारी आसोतरस्ता सिस्मत अवेचना रविन्द पक्तिवदन तस्वामी शिलप्रवुपाद की जा इस कौन फांदर चारी शिलप्रवुपाद की आनंद को दिवाशन अवनुंद की नाम चारे शिलहरिदास ताकुल की प्रेमसिकाओ श्री कृष्ण चेतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत कदादारा शिवासारी गौर भक्त अवनुंद की जाए श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण को पकोपिना Sri Vrindavan Dham Ki, Sri Mahapur Dham Ki, Sri Dwak Dham Ki, Sri Matra Dham Ki, Kanga Mahe Ki, Yamuna Mahe Ki, Bhakti Devi Ki, Tulasi Devi Ki, Sama Veda Bhakta Vrinda Ki, Nitai Kaur Paramanande Hari Hari Bho, All Guru Rishwa Sambhati Bhatis, All Guru Rishwa Sambhati Bhatis, Hare Krishna, All Guru Rishwa Sambhati Bhatis, Hare Krishna, All Guru Rishwa Sri Sri Guru and Sri Goranga. नमो विश्वपादय श्री कृत्रे सन्मति भक्ति तीर्था स्वामित नमस्ते कृष्ण पादय स्वामित श्री गौर करुण शक्ति भक्ति तीर्था स्वामित नमो विश्वास मत भक्ति वेदांत स्वामित नमस्ते सरस्वती गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निवशेष स्वामी तारिणे ओम नमो भागवते वासुदेवा Om Namo Bhagavate Vāsudevāya Om Namo Bhagavate Vāsudevāya Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaiva Narotamam Devim Sarasvatim Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudiraye Nashta Prayeshu Abhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Sloke Bhaktil Bhavati Naishtaki Today we are reading from Srimad Bhagavatam 
Canto 3, Chapter 29, Text 18 Adhyatma Dikka Anu Shravat Shravanan Adhyatma Dikka Anu Shravanan Nama Sankirtana Chame Nama Sankirtana Chame Aljavena Ahlya Sangena Aljavena Ahlya Sangena Nirahang Kriyaya Tata Virahang Kriyaya Tata Adhyatma Dikka Anushravana Nama Sankina Nachachame Aljabena Arya Sangena Virahang Kriyaya Tata Okay, recite please. Yadnika Anushtadna Vaishnavis Adhyatmika Spiritual Matters Anushravanat from hearing Nama Sankirtana from chanting the holy name Cha and Me Mai Aljavena with straightforward behavior Arya Sangena with association of saintly persons Nirahang Kriyaya without false ego Tata thus translation and purple by Srila Prabhupada Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai translation a devotee should always try to hear about spiritual matters and should always utilize his time in chanting the holy name of Lord. His behavior should always be straightforward and simple. And although he is not envious but friendly to everyone, he should avoid the company of persons who are not spiritually advanced. Purple. In order to advance in spiritual understanding, one has to hear from authentic sources about spiritual knowledge. One can understand the reality of spiritual life by following strict, strict regulative principles and by controlling his senses. To have, it, to have control, it is necessary that one be non-violent and truthful, refrain from stealing, abstain from sex life, and possesses only that which is absolutely necessary for keeping the body and soul together. 
One should not eat more than necessary. He should not collect more paraphernalia than necessary. He should not talk unnecessarily with common men, and he should not follow the rules and regulations without purpose. He should follow the rules and regulations so that he may actually make advancement. There are 18 qualifications mentioned in Bhagavad Gita among which is simplicity. One should be without pride, one should not demand unnecessary respect from others, and one should be non-violent. Amanitvam adambitvam ahimsa. One should be very tolerant and simple. One should accept the spiritual master and one should control the senses. These are mentioned here, in, here and in the Bhagavad Gita as well. One should hear from authentic sources how to advance in spiritual life. Such instructions should be taken from the Acharya and should be assimilated. It is especially mentioned here, Nama Sankirtanacha. One should chant the holy name of the Lord, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, either individually or with others. Lord Chaitanya has given special stresses or uh, stress, stress to chanting of these holy names of the Lord as the basic principle of spiritual advancement. Another word used here is aljavena, meaning without duplic uh, diplomacy. A devotee should not make plans out of self-interest. Of course, preachers sometimes have to make some plan to execute the mission of the Lord under proper guidance. But Regarding personal self-interest, a devotee should always be without diplomacy and he should avoid the company of persons who are not advancing in spiritual life. Another word is Arya. Aryans are persons who are advancing in knowledge of Krishna consciousness as well as in material prosperity. The difference between Aryan and non-Aryan the Sura and Asura is, in their standard of spiritual advancement, association with persons who are not spiritually advanced is forbidden. Lord Satani advised Asasanga Tiaga. One should avoid persons who are attached to temporary, temporary. Asat is one who too materially attached who is not a devotee of the Lord, and he is too attached to women and enjoyable material things. Such a person, according to Vaishnava philosophy, is a person not grata, uh, a person non grata. A devotee should not be proud of his acquisitions. Symptoms of devotees are meekness and humility. Although spiritually very advanced, he will always remain meek and humble, as Kabiraj Goswami and all the other Vaishravas have taught us by personal example. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught that one should be humbler than grass on the street and more tolerant than the tree. One should not be proud or falsely puffed up. In this way, one will surely advance in spiritual life. Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chaksur Umilitam Yena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Sri Chaitanya Manubishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Tadati Svapadantikam Vandeham Sri Guru Sri Yuta Padakamalam Sri Guru Vaishnavamcha Sri Rupa Sagrajatam Sagana Nagunatam Bitam Tam Sajivam Sadvetam Sabadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sagana Lalita Sri Pishakam Bitamcha 
पंच कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु तीना बंधु जगपते गोपेश गोपित कांता राधा कांता नमोस्तुते तप्त कंचन घोरंगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी पृषावानुस्ते देवी प्रणामी हरिप्रिय पंचकूभ्य कृपा सिंधु भेबच पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्रीकृष्ण चेतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैता गदाधार शिव श्री गौरवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम हरे हरे शिल प्रभुपाद की चाय अध्यात्म का अनुश्रवना नाम संकीर्णा मे अर्ज अर्जबेन आर्य संगेन निराह क्रिया तथा पिपो I speak anything. I would like to seek blessings of all the Vaishnavas here, and also Vaishnavis, and also those who are on YouTube. Maybe, <laughs> maybe more people are joining from YouTube. Maybe, <laughs> so I seek uh, from their blessings too. Uh, I'm feeling truly honored to be here, Dwagadish Temple. Uh, So for me this is the first time, and uh, I'd like to ask one more time, your blessings, to speak something suitable for your spiritual advancement. In Padma Purana, there is saying that samsara sagra magnam. So magnam, we are plunged or we are thrown into. Samsara Sagar, the ocean of samsara. So dinam mam karuna tite. So dinam. So we have fallen in this way. So what we need is karuna, the mercy. But we trying to grab the mercy, but something obstructs. What is it? Karma graya gri tangam. Karma is like graya, is like crocodile. You know the example of Kajendra Moksha. He was a strong elephant, but then yet when he was in the pond, and they grabbed by crocodile, that jaw, power of jaw, so strong, that is pulling down to the water, so that he couldn't exert his ability. So in this way, karma graya gri tangam. So once we bitten by this karma, then very difficult to to come out of. This samsara. That's why we are singing, "Mam utava bhava arnava." Bhava, this material world is like a arnava, is ocean. But when Krishna mercy comes, then utava, Krishna will uh, will save us. So, Srimad Bhagavata Pratyaksha Kyoyam. So, Srimad Bhagavata is none different than. Krishna. So by discussing this Bhagavatam together, that we'll invoke Krishna's mercy, and then we'll be out of this samsara. So yesterday, I'm sure you had a wonderful class from Bhakti Vasudev Maharaj. So I'm sure he explained very detail of how devotee should be. Is it true? How In, make it your sadhana intense, and then how to reach from adoshrada to prema. So this is called vidhi. So what to do to advance in spiritual life? But today I'll speak nisheda. What not to do? So if you know what to do, what not to do, then you are safe. Uh, so this is called swarup lakshana and tatash lakshana. So you trying to find the someone's house, then ah, oh, you know that my house is a red roof. So you have to look for on the street, the red house or red roof. 
But when you went to the street, not only his house is red, someone else's house is also red too. Which one is it? Then you make a phone call to your friend. Hey, Baba, there's so many red houses. <laughs> you tell me which one it is. Then, oh, I'm sorry. You know, the, among the red houses, one house next to it, there's a big banyan tree. So red house under the banyan tree, that is my house. So look for the banyan tree. So banyan tree is not the house, but by looking at banyan tree, you'll find the friend's house. That's good. Tatati lakshana. So in this way, we have to know swarab lakshana and tatati lakshana. So in this way, uh, this verse also today, uh, especially aljana arya sangena aljana devotee should be aljana, simple and straightforward. But then we have to understand the, the opposite of it. What do we mean by what is not simple? Devotee has to be simple, but you shouldn't be not simple, right? So that we have to understand what is not simple. Then you will be truly learn how to be simple. Uh -huh. So yesterday, I'm sure you learned that devotee should be very merciful towards the poor, or the people who are underprivileged. So the body should be very friendly to amongst the equals. And then the body should be very respectable to senior and exalted personalities. So today you will hear the opposite of it so that you don't make any mistake. So in Bhagavatam, Krishna says this, not me. <laughs> so Krishna says to Uddhava, uh, Spalda, Ashuya, Tiraskara. So these three qualities you should avoid. So it is mentioned in 11 Canto, chapter 29, text 15. You want to look it up later on. So first of all, Spalda. So People outside, in general, their nature is competing all the time amongst the equals. I want to be better than him. I want to make more money than him. I want to get a wife better than my friend. I want to get more beautiful wife than him. So in this way, our nature is like that. Wherever you go, your friend is saying that, oh, I got a car, new car. What? When did you get this new car? Look, next time when I go, I'll get much better than this car. So in this way, we all have this part of competing nature. Uh, so in this way, that rather than developing Maitra, friendship amongst us, suddenly, or in general, if you don't have spiritual knowledge, easily develop this competing mentality. So this one, you have to be very, very careful. So like a bhakti lata beach. So when you pour water on the bhakti, then you pour water on the weed also, yeah? So in this way, while we're chanting, oh, this brahmachari got better suffering clothes. <laughs> Next time, when I die, I'll put more of the suffering inside. <laughs> so in any way, so in this way, within the devotional service, this unnecessary weed comes. So in this way, always be careful of this spalda. And then next one is asuya, envy. So when someone is senior, when you see, or senior more exalted, then deep down our heart, oh, why he should get garland? Why not me? Jai Sri Sri Lukmini Dwakadishi Ki Jai Jagana Palade Subhadra Maharani Ki Jai Sri Sri Gorani Tai Ki Jai So in this way, sometimes when you go to Mayapur and then Vrindavan, you're waiting in the queue hungry, fasting whole morning, so feast waiting. 
So when is my prasadam time? Then you look, oh, Prabhupada, the disciple has special queue. <laughs> so they're sitting nicely. Why only them? Why not me? What they have done for ISKCON? They just joined early, that's all. They feel in that way. Huh? So in this way, we feel that some kind of asuya coming. So that's why a lot of girls' name is Anasuya, isn't it? Uh, so very good name, Anasuya. So without jealousy. So in devotional life, it, jealousy is uh, one of the most dangerous things. Why? If you are jealous, if you are envious, there is no chance of understanding Srimad Bhagavatam. Because uh, Bhagavatam starts with Nilma Saranam Satam. So, Masarana. Once you have Masarana, there is no chance of understanding. So, it declares right in the beginning that Dharma Purojita Kaitabu. So, no cheating dharma has to be there, no imitation, no pretending, and then nilma saranam satam, so masarana, because envy includes kama, kroda, moha, mata, masalya. So, the final emotion which is negative is Masalya, which imbibes all karma, kuroda, etc. So once, if you remove masalya, then higher chance that you remove karma, kuroda, loba also. So why? Because karma, kuroda, loba is ends up in masalya. So in this way, the envy, asuya, is one of the most deadly snake for us. So then, what kind of person we should be? You know, to enjoy similar Bhagavatam. Bhagavatam is called Pipada Bhagavata Rasam Alayam. So, what is Rasa? We have five different Rasas. Himalaya. What is Hima? What is Hima means? Anyone? Snow. Alaya means? Big pile. Huge, huge pile. That is Himalaya. So Bhagavatam is called Rasamalaya, huge, bigger than Himalaya. So this Rasa is there, to, you know, to Rasa, you know, to enjoy this Rasa, Nilmasaram, then you can't taste this Rasa. You have to be Rashika. Rashika Bhubi Pavukaha. So you have to know how to taste Rasa, Rashika. So then, how to become Rashika? How to become Rashika? Bhavukaha. You have to be expert understanding Srimad Bhagavatam. You have to be expert to analyze each word. Why? Because Sanskrit nature is such that one word has many meaning. So I'll give you an example. As you know that Yudhisthira Maharaj saved the other brothers who drank you know, the, when they were thirsty, when they were traveling, when they were exiled, so that uh, Arjuna went, I want to drink this water, then the yaksha came, no, 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 you have to answer my question first. So they are kshatriya, no, 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 who are you telling me this? They drank, and then they died. Then Yudhisthira Maharaj came, okay, I'll give you all the answer, whatever you question. So the famous question was, Kinmas Charyam, what is the most amazing thing? And then Yudhisthira Maharaj answers, Ahani Ahani Bhuttani Kachanti Iha Layamal Layam Shesha Hastavaram Ichanti Kim Ascharyam Tathaparam So, every day people are dying, but I'm not gonna die. You know what people think? One day I may die, but not today. For sure, today I'm not gonna die. So people think in this way. What is the most amazing thing then? More amazing than this? And then in this way, this Maharaj answered. And another question. Kim Annam. Annam means? Annam means? Huh? Grains, food, yeah. Kim Annam. What is the real food? 
And then Yusin Mahdi answers, Go Rannam. Go means cow. Go means and also another go means, go swami the go means senses, one who controls senses. And then we think, cow is our food? No. Or maybe it's some product from the cow is our food? But this is not only we have the eat, eatables, there are so many vegetables. What about all the vegetables then? Go means senses. So senses are food. Oh, it doesn't make sense. Then all the Sanskrit scholars, they concluded that in this sentence, go means Prithibi, earth. Oh, you know, the scholar is here. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, whatever we eat, ultimately thanks to Mother Earth we have. So cow, without eating grass, how can give milk? Anything we grow without base, Mother Earth, how can we have anything? So in this way, that Sanskrit word has many different meanings to it. So, of course, Prabhupada bring about Vedasaram, like uh, Krishna collected all the honey from each flower. Uh, and then he turned into essence so that we can easily enjoy it. So can we extract the honey from this flower? Only honeybee can do it. So in this way, Prabhupada extracted all the Veda and Purana and put it into his purport. Mm. So in this way, you have to understand the proper purport properly. It's called Bhavukaha. So in this way, you become Rashika and Bhavukaha, then we will have a chance of taste and relish Sri Mahaprabhu. So in this way, we went through Spalda, Ashuya, and then Tiraskaraha. So when you see junior or younger than you, so people should be compassionate. But Tiraskara means looking down. Hmm. You are still like that? Still you don't know this Bhagavita Dei no Sminyata De? I learned 10 years ago. So in this way, certainly we are proud of how many years I have joined in this school. How many verses I know. How oh, my saffron, very strong color. <laughs> <laughs> and also, even when we sing, we sing for the Lord, but deep down, who is looking at me, my singing? Mm -hmm. How many girls are looking at me? Certainly, we think in that way. So when there's no crowd, I'm not singing. Oh, Babaji, there's a big crowd, come. Oh, how many? Oh, hundred people. Okay, I'll sing, no problem. <laughs> So certainly, while developing our devotional mood, somehow we develop this looking down mentality. And those who are a bit less qualified or they are still kind of beginning stage. So in this way, you know the story of Bhakti Siddhanta that when he hears some bhajan, Somehow he want to feel hear some bhajan. Then what we do? For us, oh, Lokanath Maharaj giving bhajan tonight. We are rushing. Oh, today Lokanath Maharaj, one of the expert singer in our school, isn't it? But Bhakti Siddhanta, he called disciple, one who cannot carry a tune. When he sings, when he sings, everybody runs away. Oh, I cannot tolerate his tune. Madanga plays cannot, oh, where to start, or how to make a beat, they don't know. Tune goes up and down. It doesn't start when he is meant to start, he doesn't start. Start late, or, or jump into the tune. But Bhakti Siddhanta used to relish. Because we have to be careful also. When we hear bhajan or kirtan, don't get carried away by the tune. 
you meant to meditate on each word of the mantra. So there is saying that amantram, uh, aksharam, amantram nasti. So all the aksharas, kaka kaka ka, you know the the when you learn <laughs> school time, what is that? That's like kaka kaka, nya, and then something like that. <laughs> so that each, so Prabhupada used to explain, explain about the Pabalga, isn't it? So Papa, Bhava, Ma. So Pa means Papam. Pa means Pearl, the fruits. So simple mentality, fruitive mentality. Ba means bondage, attachment. And then bha means boy, the, uh, fear. And then what is ma? Mrityu. So all this um, material quality is in pabalga, isn't it? That's why appabalga, so spiritual knowledge is called appabalga, which is against these material qualities. So anyway, this each syllable is nothing but mantra. Aksharam amantram nasti. And also there is saying, um, all the plants, so all the plants, an oshadam nasti, which doesn't have medicinal effect. Only problem is that we don't know how to use it. You know the story of Mahabharat, and then you know the Dronacharya asked Yudhisthira Maharaj, that find some herb that which is medicinal. And then he couldn't bring anything. You so why you didn't bring anything? Hey Guru Maharaj, everything is medicinal. He gave the same task to Duradan. He said, nothing is medicinal. This has a poison, that is a poison effect. So everything has a poison. <laughs> so this is Duradan mentality and the Yudhisthira Mata mentality. But anyway, go back to original story. So, when we do kirtan, you are meant to meditate on each syllable, not the tune. Of course, tune will help you, but don't get attached to the tune. Uh, so in this way, that uh, somehow we have to develop, ultimately, uh, when someone doing in the beginning process, you're trying to help them, encourage them, rather than looking down, look, I'm better than that. Uh, so in this way, there are uh, instructions. Always one says that you should do like this, on the other one, don't become like this. And I'll give you one more. Uh, Example of Vidura. So in Mahabharat, there are many jewels. One of the jewels of Mahabharat is Bhagavad Gita. Another jewel of Mahabharat, Vishnu Sahasranam. And also another jewel of Mahabharat is Vidura Niti. So Vidura spoke to Tarasra overnight, so many instructions. It's called Vidura Niti. So there in Buddha Niti explains how to become a devotee, how to become a good person, so many things. But one negative instruction that if you hear, then deep down, then it help you, your spiritual journey. So it says here, Dvo Ambasi Niveshtabyo. So there are two types of people. Nivesitabhyo. So they should be under the water. Basically they should be thrown in the water. And then when they throw them in the water, how? Gale, around the neck. Bhattva, Dridamshila. So Dridamshila, that strong rock put around the neck and they put them in the water. Oh, something heavy. But this is Vidura saying, what is these two type of people? It says here, Tanabantam Adhataram. 
Tana Pantam. One who has money, one who has wealth, but Adhataram doesn't give anything, doesn't share. These people have to be thrown in the water with a stone on the neck. So, as you know, wealth, the definition of Sanskrit wealth is there are many things. Renunciation also wealth, beauty is also wealth, knowledge is also wealth, not only just paisa. So, in this way, any quality, good quality, or good thing you have, all that you should share it. Oh, I have a special madanga trick, so only I will keep it. Or oh, cultural skill. So, you know, uh, when I was a Paramachari a long time before, one Paramachari, he was very expert, so I tried to learn. He said, no, 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 Krishna will teach you. <laughs> 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 I asked the beat how to do it, and then, you wait, Krishna will teach you. No doubt. And he never showed the tricks. That's why I said, I can't play it, but cut it. <laughs> so, in this way, that Peter warned us, I have something valuable, but no one should know. This is not a good mentality. And then another, he says, Daridramcha a tapasvinam. Daridram, one who is a poor, but Atapasinam. They don't work hard. They are lazy. So if you are poor, then you should work double. You work harder. But and yet, you don't want to do anything. Hey, what to do? So you have to be careful. Not only Dharidra, it means that, for example, oh, I find it difficult to memorize this. Uh, Verses. So one time in the UK, I was traveling, and then one devotee came to me that he seems you are quoting different verses. So how do you memorize? I'm trying to learning. I can't come to my head. I said to him, "You are younger than ten years. Ten years younger than me. How come you don't practice? You must have some secret. You tell me the secret." So, okay. Shall, shall I share the secret? <laughs> so I'll share the secret. I'll follow the instruction of Pitra Niti. <laughs> so secret is, the more you forget, the higher chance you remember. The more you forget. So you try once, you forget. And then try one more time, you forget. The number of your forget, forgetfulness, forgetfulness accumulates, higher chance you remember. And then he says to me, that's interesting. Can you say it a bit more? Would you like to hear a bit more? <laughs> <laughs> so I said to him, okay, best way to forget is, you start to forget first two lines. You try to forget first two lines first. So you try to memorize, and you'll forget. Okay, let forgetfulness come. So, jnana sumriti apuanamcha. Matta sumriti jnana apuanamcha, isn't it? So either remembrance or problem is all coming from Krishna. So you try to more forget than trying to remember. So in this way, when you forget, you feel shanti. Rather than you blame yourself, I, my brain is this, my brain is that, no. So I'm forgetting, okay, aha, this is Krishna's mercy. So this morning time, you're trying to forget, first two lines, you're trying to forget. And in the evening time, you're trying to forget, less than another two lines, always four lines, isn't it? So morning time, two lines forget, in the evening time, two lines forget. In this way, constantly you practice forgetfulness. Then finally, remembrance will come. So this is my secret. And then he's thinking, oh, that's a very good idea. <laughs> Is that a good idea? <laughs> okay, I hope you try. But this is my method. So always I try to remember forgetfulness comes, then I enjoy the forgiveness. Ah, so, so this week, this verse, I'll forget seven times. Next week, I'll forget another seven times. 
finally end of month you will learn all the words mm. so this is the secret open secret now <laughs> okay here very strict please complete the class by 9 a.m. <laughs> so I followed I have to follow the instruction so we got only five minutes left uh, if there is any question and comment please Yes, Prabhu. Yeah. Pruji, that, uh, thank you for the lecture. Mm. Uh, Pruji, that example of uh, Vidur, that mm. he said that a person who does not share, uh, is it in Bhagavatam? Ah, Vidur and Nidhi, in Mahabharata. Okay. In Mahabharata, yeah. Mm. I'll share the words later on. Yeah. Yes, Prabhu. Yeah. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, Pranam. Prabhuji, while explaining that one should attach to mantra, Speak louder. One sh while telling about you should attach to mantra, not to the tune of mm. the of the Kirtan, mm. you explained, you said some Sanskrit line saying, Aksharam Mantra Nashti, if mm. I am correct. Is this the pronunciation? This is a common saying in Sanskrit. So, okay. Aksharam Amantaram Nasti, something Anoshadam Nasti, and then there is some more to it. So, okay. so today, is, uh, always I bring the, 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 my book with Viduraniti. So I wrote it down in the Viduraniti, I forgot to bring so, but uh, My question is not exactly mm. this, but I just to reference it, uh, mm. I just pointed out that. So, you mentioned about Upper Varga, Upper Varga. Pa, pa, ba, ba, ba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I could not understand the relation between these two, like attachment to mantra, mm -hmm. not to the tune, mm -hmm. and then you quoted these verses. Mm. And, and you but, connection, you mean? But I didn't understand the connection between. Okay, those. okay. So, so any the syllables has the meaning to it. So that's my uh, intention. So that the each syllable has a certain meaning to it, but normally we just are saying it. So when you put some meaning and then when you're conscious of it, then it makes you conscious all the time. Then all the consciousness ultimately leading to Krishna consciousness. So in this way, anytime when you say some certain things, try to say in sweet way. Sometimes when we, in debate or argument, when you say a bit harshly, so this is not so good. Why? Because each syllable has a certain invocation, certain shakti in it. So you, you should bring good one out of it. So in this way, that uh, each syllable has a certain meaning to it. That's what I'm trying to say. So for example, Manaha. So Manaha word from originate from the word Ma. So Ma means to measure. So nature of our mind, according to our thinking, feeling, and willing, constantly measuring. Uh, this person is good. That person is bad. Or this person is uh, ah here. Amantaram aksharam nasti nasti bulam. And Oshadam. So each mula, the root of all the plant, has uh, the medicinal e effect. So mulam and Oshadam. And then Ayogyaha Purusho Nasti. So each person has a yoga, certain potential, shakti, energy, and talent. Each person has a talent. Uh, who found it very nicely? Oh, the Shastri. Well done, well done. So here, Ayogya Purushonasti. Sometimes in the Brahmar Charashram, some devotee joins. We feel oh, he is useless. He is not playing Madanga, he is not playing the cartel, he cannot learn words nicely. So this Brahmachari is useless. No, you are the useless who cannot find his usefulness. <laughs> Isn't it? So he says here, it's not what I'm saying, it's here, Ayogya Purusha Nasti. All the Purusha, Krishna planted a certain 
Shakti, energy, talent, everything. But you don't find it, you cannot bring it out. So ultimately, the Guru's role is bring out the talent out of it. Who is the best person, who is expert at this, you know? Srila Prabhupada. First, Vyasa Puja at Prabhupada left. Tamar Krishna Maharaj gave a talk about Prabhupada. And then uh, Tamar Krishna Maharaj said, the uniqueness of Prabhupada is, as a close servant, he watched how he fanned the spark. If any devotee, especially Western devotee, doesn't have much of good qualities, no tolerance, too much enjoying spirit, etc. But they have a small spark of devotion. Prabhupada fan it in such a way that make a fire. So in this way, Ayogya Purushonasti. Yoja Kastatra Dullabaha. One who knows how to bring it, Dullabaha, very, very rare. So, for example, if we imbibe the mood of Srila Prabhupada, you will make much more devotee, you will make much more congregations. So, all the congregations also, visiting temples or guests also, they are potential. Potential, they are devotees, isn't it? There are only two types of people in this material world who are devotees, who are potentially devotees. Ultimately, whoever you see is devotee. Someone is already now, like uh, Dwati and Kulta and the Tilak. Someone is not waiting, but they are on the way. But how to make it quickly they become devotee is in your hand. So, 9 o'clock. Shila Prabhupada ki Nitai Kor Fernande Hari Hari Bo. We are very, very thankful to Prabhuji. Prabhuji has taken deep essence out of this verse and shared with all of us. We request Prabhuji to please visit us more often and kind of share his wisdom with all of us. Thank you very much, Prabhuji, for visiting us. We'd like to thank Prabhuji by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. His grace, Patanjali Muni Prabhuji ki, Jagat Guru Srila Prabhupada ki, Jai.